Hey, welcome back to part six of my journey towards my Bachelor's of uh, Science Information Technology degree from Western Governors University. So today is day 21 of my uh, first term. Um, things have slowed down a little bit since my last uh, video, but still moving through pretty quick. So let me give you a quick update. Uh, if you remember after the last video, I was, I think, three of the first four classes down. I did finish that fourth class, which was comp one. Uh, there was four papers I had to write, different writing styles, basically. One of them I had some issues with. I had to keep uh, sending it back. Uh, they weren't happy. I think maybe three edits or three resubmissions I had to do. Uh, basically had issues with APA citations and also having trouble getting a thesis that they liked. So been a while since I've written any kind of college level papers. So that kind of, uh, I think has definitely, you know, played into that. But, uh, the, the faculty were very helpful. They get, they kept sending me links and giving me ideas to the material. And basically, uh, I got there in the end. So it was, um, it was a process, but yep, yeah, got that down. Uh, so in total, comp one probably took me about 10 days to write the four papers. So, uh, so that was my initial term that, uh, those first four classes, which just a quick reminder was, uh, introduction to communication. Introduction to IT, critical thinking and logic, and then English Comp 1. So after that, I asked my mentor to add the two classes that would go towards my A plus exam. So those who don't know, the A plus exam uh, is two parts. Uh, there's two different exams, and WGU basically has a class for each of the two parts. So uh, IT Foundations is what I started with, which is uh, 2201001, which is the uh, the CompTIA exam number. Uh, I'd already pre-purchased um, some material before I started at WGU from Udemy, and that was Jason Dion's practice exams and just uh, material. It was very good. There was videos and uh, tips on how to do the BBQs and, and just, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'd already had a look at the material beforehand. Uh, the other thing as well is WGU's uh, material for this uh, course was was excellent. I mean, I must admit it was really comprehensive. So they had their own practice exams. I think there was maybe five or six of them, 510 questions, basically all in all, which was great. Uh, they had labs, which I've never seen before. That was great as well. They also had this uh, this software that would test your knowledge, uh, You going through the different modules of the test. Um, and then just general broken down section by section of the uh, of the modules on the exam and uh, you could if there was an area where you felt like you weren't doing so well on the on the practice exams you could go back and focus on that so for me it was the printer section uh because those who don't know this one is uh, this uh exam is kind of hardware based so there's a lot of troubleshooting of printers and um laptops desktops mobile devices uh, there's some networking in there there's uh there's some cloud um, computing concepts and uh, types. Uh, uh, there's a load of information about RAIDs and uh, port numbers and different physical devices. So uh, if you're a help desk technician or support guy or PC support, something like that, this that would be, obviously this is the class for you. Um, so yeah, so I went through all the material. Uh, Seemed pretty good. I was scoring well on the uh, practice exams. I was getting 80% or more. So when you're ready to go, you can um, request permission from um, Western Governor University's uh, the teacher of that class uh, for an exam voucher. So before you do that, though, you have to complete what's the final pre-assessment. And basically, it's a test in kind of a test environment on the Western Governor University site. And I think it's 80 odd questions. And basically you have to score well on that one. And it's just an overview of everything you may have learned beforehand. So if you feel really comfortable, you can just go straight to that. And if you score well, and you can request a, a cert a coupon. So anyway, I, I did do some of the material. I spent maybe a week uh, on that just to, to familiarize myself. And then I did the pre-assessment. I scored, I think, 91%, so pretty decent. And uh, yeah, I clicked the link and asked for a coupon or uh, a exam code. It did take a little while, maybe 24 hours or more before I finally got an email with that code. Uh, there was a little link in the email to then go in ahead and uh, go out to an external site and then schedule uh, for the exam. So they did give you some choices. Uh, they're very flexible with the times, uh, especially if you want to do a proctored exam. You can do it from home. 
Um, or you can go to a test centre wherever you're near, if you're near a college or a testing centre school or something like that. I, I've gone that route before. Some people prefer that, but for time and ease, I just did it from the house. Uh, the cool thing about their proctor's exams is you don't need to use the external camera. You could just use the laptop internal camera uh, if you have one. So yeah, so it worked out pretty well. So uh, I scheduled the exam for the following day, uh, and that was like four days ago now, I guess. And um, yeah, so there was basically 77 questions in total. They give you 90 minutes. Uh, out of the 77 questions, about five or six of them are what are called PBQs. They are like simulation type questions where you might need to configure something, uh, routers or uh, tablets or something along those lines. Uh, there's also sometimes drag and drop questions. They, you know, like you know, what type of uh, cable goes with this um, uh, connect uh, that kind of question so stuff that you've learned on the course so um conventional like uh, wisdom and if you read any of the uh, forums about comp tier exams is they always say to leave the pbq questions to the end so what you do is you basically skip those first five or six you then get onto the multiple choice questions and then you go back at the end i followed that advice and i worked through the questions so uh, i must admit I found this exam harder than I expected. I, I, I fought for an entry level exam and just with my general experience and with how well I was doing on the practice exam, I thought I was gonna literally knock it out of the park. Uh, I didn't. Um, there was a lot of questions that I had, uh, I didn't say, I wouldn't say guessed, uh, but I made an educated guess. Maybe I narrowed it down to two choices and then I made a choice. And um, anyway, so after I finished the uh, 71, 72, um, multiple choice questions, I went back to the PBQs. I must admit, I was getting a bit frustrated because the software was very glitchy. So I'd make a change and then I would go to a different section on that question and I'd go back to check and my answer was gone, like whatever I'd filled in. And that was, you know, it wasn't sticking, which is very frustrating. So uh, there was times when I multiple times went back to make sure it was there, like, uh, you know, uh, so, and it wasn't. And I ended up speaking to the proctor and they tried to help, but they really weren't much help. I've since Googled it and I think it's not uncommon uh, for people to have that problem. I really hope you don't have that issue when you take it. Anyway, eventually I basically ran out of time. I completed all the questions. I felt like I had all the PBQ questions right and uh, I did pass. That's the good news. I'm sure you wanted to hear that, but I only just passed. I squeaked by. Uh, for this particular exam, the pass level is 675. It's Allen 900. I think I scored um, just over 700, 713, something like that. So not not great, but enough to get me by. So uh, much harder than I thought. So that was the first one out of the way. Now, obviously, uh, I have to complete the second part to become certified. So with WGU, it's IT applications. Uh, I'm planning on starting the, looking at the material this afternoon after work and then over the weekend. But... At this point, we're 21 days down. I've completed five of my first six classes, giving me a grand total of 17 CUs for the term so far. So according to uh, the Western Government University uh, program progress, I am at 22% through my degree, which is you know, pretty good. So uh, I hope to get this next part done within the next nine days. So my, my original goal was the end of the month. So I've, you know, I've got nine days to do that to, to, to match that. So that's my goal. Uh, that's all I really have for today. Um, I hope those that are starting on the first uh, are looking forward to it and excited and well prepped. I wish you the best of luck. Um, until the next time we speak, uh, good luck, take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks very much.